Did you use extrajudicial means to get information out of suspects? You're, you're, you're speaking about torture. Yeah. Uh, this is Mexico? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what... Uh, so if you're asking me if it's extrajudicial, I've never been into the into the judicial. So <laughs> this, 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 this that's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, in Mexico, there's a very, very specific culture around torture. Yes, it's everywhere. It's prevalent. Uh, I remember seeing some Americans from the military branch showing us waterboarding techniques during some of the cross training we did when I was active. And we were laughing about it in the back. Right? You have a manual for this? You put this on paper, you know, you, yeah. you tell people about this. Right. Um, in Mexico, they have a thing called a tehuacanazo. You want me to explain what a tehuacanazo sure. is? And I learned about this through direct experience because this is the only way it's shown to you. Uh, you get a big bottle of carbonated water. Topo Chico is the preferred one. Uh, yes. Uh, you have a wheelchair or a chair of some sort that you put the person into the chair or wheelchair. Uh, and, uh, you put the handcuffs on their hands and you put their leg over the handcuffs. So their hands are trapped now. Mm. And then you zip tie them or tie them together like that. And when it was done on me, I was asked, are you ready? And I said, yes. And as soon as I said, yes, a towel was pull, pulled over my face and a bottle of Topo Chico was shaken <laughs> and sprayed up my nose, both nostrils. The, has it been, like, have it, people have experienced having like his soda come up. Yeah. Yeah. Come up through. Yeah. And burn the back of your nose. Yeah. And that's pretty, now imagine a stream of that from a giant ball of it while you're hogtied while you're hogtied and you're torturing your wrist by trying to yeah. solve yeah and you're also up your leg yeah your your diaphragm your diaphragm is also collapsed because you're trying to do that yeah. so you can't yeah. breathe and also you feel like you're drowning because it's the liquid after it burns the back of your nasal cavity goes down your throat and now you're drowning mm. I'd rather have cigarettes put out on me. I'd rather, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I mean, there's that as well across, across Mexico. There's tortures that are completely extra, extra, extra judicial. Yeah. But the, this, the, the culture of that type of yeah is prevalent all over torture. Uh, uh, so, 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 so if you had a couple of guys like beating the shit out of a couple of people, slapping them, humiliating them, that was nothing. That was absolutely nothing. Yeah. A board, la tabla. Yeah, La Tabla. We yeah. know about La Tabla. It's every, every... Cartels use it. Yeah, they've learned that from the military. Yeah. yeah. That's where it comes from. It's a corrective F, It's a corrective measure in the military. La Tabla. Do you remember like... The board, basically. It's a big wooden board that people yeah, carry around. Yeah. Gets slapped in the ass with it. Do you remember being... Do you ever remember like suspects being tortured or whatever you call it? Maybe that's not even considered torture. Maybe that's just considered interrogation. Do you ever remember being like, damn, this is... Yeah, always. always. What was like the worst one? I or mean, one that just stuck out to where you were like, ugh. Uh, again, we worked a lot with the military. And we talk about cruelty and just coldness. Yeah. The Mexican army is, I mean, you don't want to, you don't want to, you no. don't want to be in a room with those guys. Yeah. Uh, um, there was a, a bunch of kids that they grabbed at this, uh, this ranch somewhere. And they were basically questioning each of them. Uh, I, we didn't, I didn't see the interrogation itself, but you know, you, you know what it is. Mm. Um, hoses and garden hoses being utilized to beat them. Basically the bottom of people's feet. Yeah. Uh, bag, uh, plastic bag is asphyxiations, you know, over and over again, in and out. Yeah. Um, uh, striking, you know, open hand striking. Yeah. Uh, Slaps, that type of stuff. Again, the whole question of marks and like that. Yeah. And uh, and finally, just elect electrical shock therapy. Right. So batteries uh, being attached to toes uh -huh. and fingertips and just having current go wow. through. So then suspects every time are giving up info, whether it's correct or not. I don't, I don't, I don't, so 
I'd never once experienced anything like that where somebody was put through all night and revealed some sort of right information that was substantial of so, any kind. Right. So then what's the, what's the point? Is that, is that the point? People are in a work environment that is hard, horrible, dehumanizing, mm. and they become monsters yeah. and they dehumanize the enemy. Right. Right. And as soon as that happens, you can do whatever you want. Yeah. It's part of military training right. of all kinds. You, you do it in the U S too. You know, Americans, yeah. when they went off to Afghanistan, we're calling the Afghanis all types of names, you know? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's a culture. It's prevalent. It's still there. It's not talked about. Yeah. Uh, I, I personally, man, it's, it's, a uh, it's something that causes a lot of shit for me. I don't, I, yeah. I don't, uh, it's uh it's not something I'm proud of or like mm -hmm. excited about or happy about, but it was a process of, of, of just how things work down there. Everybody, everybody does, that's the way they work.